let's talk about all my sewing makes for last few days. Hi, my name is Agata. Welcome in Agata's Cottage. It's time to talk about my makes for last few days. I haven't had the chance to record Friday shows last Friday, so I thought that I will come over to you with my catch up on Monday. We had few very busy days. However, I did get some sewing done and I'm very excited to share my makes with you. First, what I'm wearing. This is new look top. Uh, it's view B and pattern number is 6216. I had a lot of trouble with that make. Turned out extremely oversized and uh, neck band was like neck opening was so wide it was sliding off my shoulders. So I did manage to save it because I absolutely adore the fabric I made it in. So this fabric is from Dresdenstoffen. I got it um, probably a month and a half ago and I absolutely love it. Um, so what I did, actually I tried to explain in my last Friday so how I fix it, but how somehow, I don't know how, I managed to not record that part. So here is the repeat of how I fix it. So here on the shoulder seam what I did is I measured on both front and back one and a half inch basically tight and I kind of looked where it would be nice to kind of round it down so roughly five and a half inches almost very close to the edge of the top I'll put the picture of how it looks from the inside doesn't look pretty but it does the job so basically I took three inches on each side to lift it up and it looks perfect and I love it I wore this top so many times already and I got so many compliments so I will definitely try to tweak the pattern piece and remake it in other fabrics what else did I make uh, one of the things I made is this dress for Project Dress a Girl. Um, I use cotton, cotton poplin from EcoB I got, I think, two years ago. And because it has little pineapples, I entered it into So Forty 2024. So that's my first dress for this year. I'm well behind with my... Um, attempt of doing at least one dress a month uh, so i'm just starting but i do hope i will catch up uh, it's fully lined i didn't do it reversible i just opted for fully lined and i do love how it turned out it's a pattern by alisa from total creativity i didn't do the side pockets i just did two the two big pockets at the front I just love the print so much I didn't want to disturb it. After I cut out this dress I had a bit of fabric left so I had one uh, smaller size and also I cut out a little pouch also using Alisa's uh, pattern and her tutorial. I will leave link to the tutorial below. So I don't have the pouch anymore because it has been already gifted to one of Alisa's teachers and I think it turned out super cute. It's uh, relatively small and it's like a perfect makeup or medicine a type of bag. I also made one more bag. It's kind of like a cosmetic bag or wash bag for Alice. Um, it didn't have any pattern or anything. Basically uh, it was mindless sewing. It started like that. So um, Alice asked me to make uh, something for one of her teachers and she, one of her teachers has a dog and she wanted me to make bandana for the dog and we decided to choose one of the fat quarters I had in my stash plus we I also had this fat quarter actually remnant of this fat quarter it wasn't enough for the uh, dog's bandanas so I decided you know I have it out already I'm just gonna make something with it so I cut it into two pieces and I just start quilting it and 
you know, and then I start putting things together. So it's fully lined on the inside. Um, I binded the seams on the bottom for the side seams. I used the fray check. It was just too hard to bind. I bind the side seams. It was basically, I don't know if you have it, but sometimes I just wing it because I have a need to sew, but I don't want to restrict myself with the pattern. It was just, you know, pure what I can do else with that kind of thing. She likes it and we thought that it would be good for uh, scouting camps and stuff like that because, you know, there is Alice in Wonderland. So uh, hopefully people will ask, will know that it's her wash bag. What else I made? I made a set for Alice using two free patterns. I have whole club video about this make. I will leave it link down below. Uh, Alice loves this set. It's very useful. It has been washed already a few times and worn a few times. And I'm actually planning to make her another set just in different fabric. What else I made? As I mentioned, I made the doggy bandana. And I also made another stuffed apple for teacher's gift. Plus, I made, let me think, six um, bags for gifts. Uh, I don't have any of them because they all have been used. Uh, so it's basically kind of twist on the drawstring bag when there's no actual drawstring. There's just a, a tie or ribbon attached from the outside and you just gather the bag and tie it. Uh, I'll pop the picture here. I have only picture of uh, smaller bags, the bigger bags. I completely forgot to take pictures. I also made a little jumper for my friend's son. Uh, he is turning three now and I was meeting her for lunch and I just wanted to make something for him. I do have a few other things planned for him for his birthday, uh, but for now I just made one jumper and she loved it. I'm actually very happy with how this make turned out because I did manage to use remnants of previous projects and it was good to get those smaller pieces of uh, French terry out of my stash. So I did make a good few things. It wasn't massive sewing um, because I didn't have that much time. Uh, but about that in the live portion. What are my plans for next week? So I actually have two sewing plans. One, uh, I want to make uh, another set for Alice for workouts. I have it already cut out, I just need to make it. And I used the remnant of uh, jerseys that I got years ago and I used for t shirt for Chris. So I just have a bit left that was enough for short vest for Alice and for short legging. The other plan I have is to make a blouse, actually hack of a Rhapsody blouse and I will be using the cotton Dobby cotton voile I got from Dresden Stoffen a few weeks ago. I absolutely love this fabric and I cannot wait to make this blouse. I'm planning to enter it into another sewing challenge that started yesterday. It's Hackathon and it was started by Chris from Unsocial. She has whole video uh, about this challenge and it's brilliant challenge and she encourages us to basically hack uh, patterns and you can do small hacks you can do big hacks uh, whatever you, you're fancy she actually has great video i watched it this morning about what hacks are so i will leave all them linked down below i have also one additional sewing plan uh, I'm going on Saturday to meet sewing friend and we are doing kind of mini private sewing social. Um, so uh, we will be sewing dresses for Project Dress a Girl and I cannot wait. Okay, life update. Life got busy uh, as it's usually during summer. In addition, Alice has physio. Uh, I won't be going into details here, but it does require a big block of time every day from us. Therefore, my sewing time has been reduced, so there won't be as much uh, sewing done over next few months here. However, I will do my best to come back here regularly and keep you updated. So that's all from me for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Are you planning to participate in Hackathon? Do you like hacking patterns? 
If yes, please let me know what's your favorite pattern to hack. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will have a wonderful week. Happy sewing and don't forget, clean your sewing machine and change your needle. Bye.